port experiment, charging and discharging a capacitor. In this experiment, the time dependence of current flowing in an RC circuit will be examined. A chronometer will be used for following the time dependence of the current. Now construct an RC circuit. Let the position 1 of the switch turn on the charging circuit. Use a galvanometer to measure the current. Connect the galvanometer to the circuit. At the end, connect the open terminal of the resistor to the neutral position of the switch. The same setup will be used also for the discharging process. You can arrange the setup for this by connecting the position 2 of the switch between the galvanometer and the power supply directly. You should choose an appropriate output in order to protect the galvanometer. Adjust the output between 1, 2, 2 volts. Bring the switch to position 1 and simultaneously start the chronometer. The maximum value that the pointer touches is the value at t equals zero. During the experiment, you will record the time values corresponding to certain current values. For this purpose, the red button of the chronometer will be used. When you press on this button, the reading at that instant freezes on the display. For instance, at the 22nd second, the current is 30 microamperes. When you press on the red button once again, the display catches the timing of the chronometer without interruption. For instance, it continues from the 32nd second here. Keep recording data until the value of the current gets close to zero. After the capacitor is sufficiently charged, reset the chronometer. Bring the switch to position 2 and simultaneously start the chronometer to record the discharging data in the same manner.